Hi, my name is Aileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is Measuring the Mass of Stars. So measuring the mass of stars has become quite easy once we figure out some of the relationships and we've been able to kind of come up with models mathematically to kind of figure out these tables. And um, one of the most important things in astronomy that you would use a lot is the HR diagram. And this is kind of what it looks like. So a star spends most of its life in a very thin line, thin band that is called the main sequence. So this sort of band is called the main sequence, and we call that MS. Now, the the axis for this HR di uh, HR diagram, we, it can be a lot of things. It can be masses, it can be luminosity, it can be temperature, absolute magnitude, or spectral classes. Spectral classes. Are, go by O, B, A, F, G, K, M. A simple thing is O, B, a fine girl, kiss me, or there are several other sentences that people use to remember this. Um, and then in the, other, in the same axis, we can also put it in terms of temperature. And this is thousands of kelvins. So this is 30,000 kelvins, 10,000 kelvins, and so forth. And over here, we can either look at the absolute magnitude of the star, which is very closely related to the luminosity of the star. And we generally put this axis in terms of how much more luminous it is with respect to the sun. So here we put one, that means that it's as luminous as the sun, and it goes up and down uh, in the axis. Now, let's try to figure out where the sun is. The sun is a G2 class star. So here's G, and it's somewhere over here with one solar luminosity, here we are. So there's our sun. And this is kind of where we map the stars. Now, knowing this table, we can actually look at a different star and figure out how massive uh, it is. So one of the mathematical models for this is that the luminosity of the star that you're looking at divided by the luminosity of the sun is equal to the mass of the star that you're looking at divided by the mass of the sun to the 3.5 power. Now, how do we get the luminosity of the star? Well, we do this visually with a telescope. Uh, there's something called, you can see the temp, you can measure the temperature of the star quite easily, which will lead you to the luminosity in many ways. There's luminosity and temperature relationships as well. But there is something called the VV magnitude of a star, which will tell you how blue or how red it is in terms of stars. So once you have this VV magnitude that you get visually, you can figure out the luminosity of the star. And plugging it into this equation, it will give you the actual mass of the star, since we already know the luminosity of the sun and the mass of the sun. And this is how we determine the mass of stars. My name is Eileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist, and this is determining the mass of a star. Mm -hmm.